Now, stay tuned for the Martin Short Show on NBC. part there. I came up with it. Yeah, I know, honey. Tell me about 25 times. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe that Steve Martin is actually doing the show. It's fantastic. Well, he's dying to meet you. R is he really? Oh, absolutely. Get out of here. Absolutely. Shh. Oh. oh. The Amigos is your favorite movie, isn't it, Charlie? Second favorite. Really? What's your favorite? All of Eddie's. <laughs> He'll be all right. Relax. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, must have, this must have been a blast to do this movie. Oh, we had a riot. Mm. We really did. Uh, you know, I was scared to death. So. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 It was my first movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you, I couldn't have made it without Steve. And that was in 74. Now, in 75, I won the Grammy. Yes, oh, I remember you telling me that. Yeah. Mm. Too cold. <laughs> now, a little advice on this movie, Marty. Uh, when you're in a scene with me, you should do nothing. Your performance should be very, very small. But don't you think that since we are doing a comedy... And when you're in a scene with Chevy, you should mug and go big. I mean, because he's so big, then I should go big. All right. Thanks, Steve. I, I don't know how to so say it. So just remember, you're in a scene with me... Fade into the background. You're in a scene with Chevy... Boy, Chief, am I excited! <laughs> hey, do you like this photo of me? Yes, very much. I thought it was pretty good, too. Yeah. Here, let me sign it for you. Oh, thanks. Although I already have so many. Uh, I, oh. Excuse me, crew does not eat at that table. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hmm. Good friends are hard to find. <sighs> Tell me about it. How do they keep doing it? 31 incredible healthy choice entrees. They've rewritten the rules. Again, fiendishly rich cream sauces. <laughs> Italian sauces that really speak Italian. No skimping on the cheese either. Beef pepper steak oriental, chicken con queso burritos, lasagna roma. Healthy choice is cooking. We're talking new recipes, unbelievable flavor. 31 ways to eat what you like. Who else could do all that? You're the principal topic of my conversation. You're the principal source of my inspiration. The principal star in my sky. For the principal people in your life, the principal financial group, insurance, pensions, managed health care, and more. You're the principal reason I do what I do. The principal reason is you. The principal. For over a century, your edge on the future. The powerful all-aluminum alloy engine in the Lexus ES is so incredibly quiet you can hear the cliché. The wait is over. It's NBC premiere Thursday. Well, that's all I got! First, the season premiere, Man About You. Jamie wants a baby? Then the premiere, Friend. And it's finally here, Seinfeld's season premiere. And Dabney Coleman is the madman of the people. Gotcha! The season premiere you've been waiting for, NBC Thursday. Steve Martin, well, the man has got the kind of skin they write poems about. My ex-wife has similar skin when she isn't sweating scotch out of every pore. Well, you know, in all the time that Marty's known him, I've never met him. Well, I've done about a half a dozen movies with Steve, yeah. and I'm telling you, with just a hint of mascara, those eyes sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Yeah, so I guess you guys are going to be picking out furniture soon, no. huh? <laughs> yeah, so I just met Who? Mr. Steve Martin. Uh, and? Very, very sexy. Really? I think there's a little chemistry going on between us. No. Passed him in the hallway. He stared right at my breast. Well, oh, that Jim Carrey is really funny, isn't he, Marty? Oh, Jim Carrey is hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gary. I think you two work together. 
Oh, Gary Makeup. Uh, Gary of Makeup. Hi. Didn't we work uh, on uh, Parenthood down in Orlando, Florida, where we stayed at the Peabody Hotel? Your fax number is still 555-6178? You're amazing. <laughs> and, and I believe you've met Alice. Hello. We met in the hallway. <laughs> you are one funny lady. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you, you you're, you're like the new Eve Arden. Thank you very much. To me, she's both funny and sultry. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve, this is my lovely wife, Meg. I cannot tell you what an honor it is to meet you. I've been a fan of yours for so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't tell you. Finally, I can put a face to that sexy voice I always hear on the background when I'm talking to Marty on the oh. phone. <laughs> I'd seen your headshot, but I didn't realize you were so statuesque. Well, God is my sculptor. <laughs> <laughs> I looked over, I thought it was Kim Basinger. Oh, Kim Basinger, Eve Arden. <laughs> well, listen, we're, we're, we're due in wardrobe for a uh, half yeah, right, okay, right, right, Are you yeah, going to come? Because you yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, I'll be right okay. there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'd love to read you for my next film. It takes place in the 19th century, and you have a very period face. Really? Yes, you but look lovely. Thank you. Well, that's the, out of all the centuries there are, the 19th century is my favorite. <laughs> what a fabulous well, sense of humor. You know. Well, later. <laughs> okay. <great. laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh, Gary, we've got to have a little uh, powwow on my makeup. Makeup? What makeup? <laughs> Steve, I can't improve on perfection. Man gets a star by his name. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Martin George! <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you. God bless you for that reaction. We have a very exciting show for you tonight because we have as our guest, Mr. Steve Martin. Now let me just say this. Uh, let me just say this. As, as some of you know, or maybe uh, do not know, that Steve is a very old friend of mine, but what few people do know is that Steve once saved my life. And this is, this is a true story. This is all true, as Jack Parr would say. Um, look, I'm gonna lie. Uh, I was at a Hollywood party Faye Dunaway's house, and Steve was there, <laughs> and I was doing some lengths in the pool, you know, as I, I, I want to do at Hollywood parties, and suddenly, in the middle, this is true, suddenly in the middle, the duck I was wearing sprung a leak, and I went down, <laughs> and, uh, and I, you know, was, was drowning, and Steve, fully clothed, jumps in, grabs me, pulls me out, gives me mouth to mouth, and resuscitates me. You know, and uh, it's true. Yeah, and uh, you can imagine how awkward I felt, you know, having to thank him for my life while at the same time asking him to take his hand on my bathing suit. So, you know, life gets to be very confusing at times. We have a very exciting show. Please don't go away. We'll be back. It's time for Halfway. <laughs> Here's your host, Alex Rebell. Thank you, Johnny Oma. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Half Wits. Tonight marks our second consecutive year without a correct answer. However, I think we're going to turn things around tonight. So now, let's meet our contestants. Blanche Ray Kellogg and uh, Lawrence Orbach. And Blanche, I understand congratulations are in order to both you and your husband on your recent blessed event. Uh, was it a boy or a girl? Yes. <laughs> yes, the, the uh, baby, Blanche, uh, was it a boy or a girl? Not a girl, Alex. Ah, well, a, a boy then. And, uh, and you named your baby boy... Yes, that very day, Alex. <laughs> yes. Uh, what I'm trying to get at, Blanche, is what did you uh, name your baby boy? That is correct, Alex. Yes. All right. Well, moving along, Lawrence. That's it. I'm sorry? That's his name. You named your baby uh, Lawrence? No, that's his name, Alex. My name, Alex. Yes, yes, I know. I know that's his name, Blanche. <laughs> I'm talking to... Lawrence now. Lawrence Orbach. Right on, Alex. And uh, I understand you're uh, still in high school. Yes, I'm, I'm having some degree of difficulty getting out of high school. <laughs> I'm in a freshman slump. Ah, a long one. A long one, yes. Well, hopefully that slump uh, won't last too long, Lawrence. 
Thank you, Alex, because I have certain goals in life I would feel compelled to complete. Ah. One of which is to become a circuit court judge. <laughs> and the other is to become a professional actor like Mr. Robert De Niro. Ah. Good for you, Lawrence. Only not quite as tall. <laughs> yes, well, you've chosen a very, very challenging profession. Hey, Alex. Are you looking at me? Because if you're not, then who is looking at me? You? How do I do? Very good. Very, very excellent acting on that, Lawrence. But oh, Alex, then. Myra Reese. What? Uh, Myra, I understand you're an air traffic controller's assistant. I know. Yes, and, and, uh,. What would an air traffic controller's assistant do? Oh, okay. Um, I wake up, I wash myself with soap. Um, I have toothpaste and toothbrush. Myra. I put toothpaste Myra. and toothbrush. Uh, Myra, Myra. I'm sorry, uh, you misunderstand. I mean, uh, as an air traffic controller's assistant, what would your duties be? Well, okay, all I do is um, I, I keep my eyes peeled for, for these planes that's getting too close to other planes, you know what I'm saying? And then when they get too close, I go and tell somebody. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I imagine you've seen some, uh, some near collisions. No, most of them hit head on. <laughs> very, very good. Moving on. Hummy Silpelsian, yep. uh, you've been a dog catcher for 12 years. Thank you. <laughs> I imagine, uh, as a dog catcher, you'd have some very, very interesting stories to tell. <laughs> yes, well, uh, Silpelsian. Silpelsian, that would be... My name. Yes, yes, that's your name. I'm wondering about the ethnic derivation of the name, uh, where the name comes from. I see what you're driving at. <laughs> uh, have we met? <clears throat> okay, you know what? Oh, uh, uh, Alex, uh, how, how many points do I have now? Tommy, we, we haven't started the game yet. Ah, so it gets tougher than this. <laughs> All right, why don't we, um, we even start the Why don't we start our game? Lawrence and Blanche, would you pick the first category, please? Words that start with P for five dollars, Alex? A fluffy treat enjoyed at the movies. Lint. <laughs> that doesn't start with P, Lawrence, unfortunately, uh, that is wrong. The answer we were looking for was uh, popcorn. <laughs> Let's move on to Hummy and Myra. Oh, um, words that start with P for five dollars, please. <laughs> Myra, that category was taken just a second ago. Just a second ago. Oh, you have to listen very, very carefully. Um, has words that start with P for ten dollars been taken, Alex? Does it look like it's been taken, Myra? <laughs> His nose would grow each time he told a lie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We don't know. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. What's Pinocchio? Okay. But Lawrence and Blanche, your turn. Pick a category, please. Breeds of dogs for $20, Alex. Lassie was one of these. Seinfeld? Blanche, that, that makes absolutely no sense. She oh, watches wait, them wait. every Thursday. Oh, I think that's the right. Hey, this is getting us nowhere. Why don't we go right to our lightning round? Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You get ten points for every correct answer, and time is of the essence. Our lightning round category today, items found in a refrigerator. Now you have 30 seconds, and go. Brazier. Items found in a refrigerator. Mulch. Items found in a refrigerator. You go to the refrigerator, you open the door, and you find... Has anyone said mulch? All right. You want to get some food. You want to put something in your mouth. You reach and find... Joey Heatherton? All right. You know what? That's it. Let's... 
stop the lightning round and let's stop the game because we have no correct answers. What else is new? We Movie have no stars to block. That's not even our game. You know what? That's it. I've had one out of Hey, Marty, somebody dropped this off for you. I'm just oh, going to leave it here, okay? Well, look, those are beautiful. Who's it from? Oh, Meg, they're from Liza Minnelli. Look at this. Dear Marty, you're terrific. Oh. Uh, it doesn't say me. No, it doesn't. It's phonetically spelled. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, by the way, that other present is also for you. It's a gift from Steve. Oh, really? Oh! Oh! Clown, oh. Marty. Yeah. Look, oh, look at this. Look at this. He painted this himself. Oh, see, now, I want to love it if it just wasn't so bad. <laughs> hey, I got to change rooms at the hotel. There was a screw up on the reservation, so oh. I'll give you guys a call tomorrow. Wait a second. I love this painting. Really? It took me a year and a half to paint it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I got something for you, too. Oh, I'll great! Right and then there's Meg. Sweet, gifted. I wish I'd met Steve before I'd met Marty Meg. <laughs> oh, Mr. Martin! <laughs> oh, thanks for doing the show, Steve. Uh, Great week. <laughs> okay. Okay, let go now. Let go, let go! <laughs> let go. Whoa! Meg! <laughs> Steve, I just wanted to say thank you so much. It's just been a pleasure working with you, honestly. I've learned so much. It was an honor working with you. I want to say Mimi. Alice. Alice! Oh. What is it with me and names? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, off I go. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Bye. Great show. Hi, Marty. Hi. Hey, I got a great idea. Why doesn't Steve check out of his hotel and spend the night with us? Uh, what a great idea. Spend the night at your house. Wouldn't it be fun, honey? Uh -huh. uh, it would yeah. really be fun. <laughs> <laughs> but where's Marty going to sleep? <laughs> Imagine owning something so unusual it'll give you chills. You made flesh crawl. Imagine a world where night lasts forever. I am the pumpkin king. It's a video so unique, you'll see something new every time you watch it. Surprised, aren't you? Imagine owning something totally different. <laughs> Fantastic! Imagine what your friends will think. <laughs> now you can own Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Please be advised, you may need a bigger TV to hold all this food. Introducing the new Mega Meal from KFC, the biggest meal deal America has ever seen. A whole Colonel's Rotisserie Gold or eight pieces of original recipe chicken. Potato wedges, Kentucky nuggets, mashed potatoes and gravy, coleslaw, biscuits, even a whole apple pie. All this for just $14.99. You couldn't even get two large pizzas for that. No wonder we call it the Mega Meal. A lot of food, not a lot of money. You can't beat that. Oh, look at the sunset. It's like being in the islands. So is this. Mm. New Kahlua Cafe from General Foods International Coffees. Mmm. Delicious. What's this flavor? Kahlua. I'm imagining tropical breezes. And endless beaches. The only after-dinner coffee with the flavor of real Kahlua. It makes me want to be... Where? Right here, right now. Celebrate the moments of your life. New Kahlua Cafe. The Martin Short Show will be right back on NBC. Next, NBC's Tuesday premieres continue. <laughs> on the season premiere of TV's best comedy, meet the music teacher who was Frazier's first. Do you still keep it up? Well, the piano. <laughs> then the season premiere of Laura Kett gets a new look and a new love. Cheers. Seinfeld. Television's greatest new night continues. NBC Next. If you're in the mood for savings, Mazda presents a special product clearance on 94 Mazda Protégé. Buy any 94 Protégé now and get low 1.9% financing. Or save up to $2,400 now on any Protégé DX or LX with $1,500 cash back from Mazda, plus air or automatic at no extra charge. The limited time Mazda Protégé special clearance. Don't let these savings get away. 
Now, don't forget that the party is Monday night at 8 o'clock at McGuire's. We're going to give Tom a surprise party Monday night at McGuire's. The party's on for Monday night. I just can't wait to see his face. No if, ands, or buts this Monday. 8 o'clock sharp. The party's Monday night at McGuire's. McGuire's is closed on Monday. The calls you make each day can help to smooth your way. Please, tell me you're open on Monday night. It's just a call away. Thank you. Victoria's Secret creates the miracle. The cleavage-enhancing miracle bra. Go ahead, make him crazy. All I need is a miracle. <laughs> All I need is you. The cleavage-enhancing miracle bra. It'll make you believe in miracles. That's what I call a miracle. All I need is a miracle. The miracle bra. It works. And it's only at Victoria's <laughs> Secret. The miracle bra. Now at a miracle price. Just $19.50. A live report from Haiti as violence flares up at 11. Tina, we're home! Wow. Considering this is not remotely my taste, this is fantastic. Tina! Where are you going to put my painting? Well, I mean, this house has so much closet space, it could go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must get old. Hello. Oh, how were the kids? Who? Huh? The kids. Oh, they're great, yeah. The little one, he ate a whole pound cake, so he's having a tough time getting to sleep. Okay. Night, night now. <laughs> Steve, uh, I'll take upstairs and get you settled. I don't want to be in imposition. <laughs> no, 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 no imposition. I'll, I'll, I'll be right up and show you your room. I already found the room, but I sure could use some blackout blinds in there. <laughs> Marty? What? I know Steve is your best friend, and I know that you think he's this really great, great guy and all that, you know? But the fact is, I think he's coming on to me. <laughs> you think Steve is coming on to you, actually? Well, possibly, yeah. Oh, honey, the man is a comedian. He's doing a joke. Really? Absolutely. Yeah, well, if it is a joke, he's just beating it into the ground. Well, are you familiar with his work? <laughs> Mommy, Daddy. Yeah, Charlie. I still can't sleep. Okay, I'll be right up. Just, well, I'll read your story, okay, honey? Trust me, baby. Trust me. It is a joke. He is a comedian doing a joke. Really? Yes. Oh, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go, Charlie. And then the little Duke left the palace and said, Hey, I gotta find the magic stone I do. So, yeah. Oh, Marty. Oh, hi, Billy. Yeah, no, it's Charlie. Oh, sorry. Hey, you don't have any cologne, do you? No, cologne. No, no, I don't really wear cologne. Oh, okay. No yeah. problem. Okay. <laughs> Had to find the magic forest. And that's when he met the old witch. And she said, Get out of me, flowers, Bob. Yeah, oh, Marty, uh, you don't have any uh, breath mints or uh, peppermint patty would be good. No, I don't. I mouthwash. Oh, no, I've got that. Night, Max. <laughs> so the little duke left the forest, and he... Yeah, hey, Marty, you don't have the product shine so bright, do you? It leaves the hair with a certain sheen, but without too much attitude. <laughs> that I know I don't have. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, uh, little one, do you have any? No. <laughs> Daddy, is that guy going on a date or something? Oh. <laughs> I love to love you Stranger than me love to love you, tell everyone you know, I'm a sad man, with a passion for dancing, some call it prancing, but I call it love. Cuando besame, quiere esta noche. Oh, I get, you're, you're doing a bit, aren't you? Sí, sí, you're, you're funny. You're a funny guy. I'm going to make some sandwiches. Here, I'll go with you. You know, the bossa nova is such an exotic dance. It's just one step forward and a one step back and a one step forward. I hope everybody likes mustard. <laughs> Why? What do you got in mind? <laughs> You really don't have to be in here in the kitchen with me. I'm just, I'll be fine. Hey, 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 let's make margaritas. Oh, that's a great idea. You know, I'll just go get Marty. You know, my husband, your best friend. <laughs> oh, what a 
does he know about having fun? Oh, look at those tomatoes! I'll go with you. Hey, you know what I'd like to do? I have an idea. Painting? Painter's a clown? Uh-huh. I love to paint that clown. I'm aware of that. You would be an especially lovely and sultry and seductive clown. Oh, but enough about clowns. How about a big wet kiss? Ew! Oh. Now I thought you were my friend. Oh, like I didn't know you were there. I am sorry, Meg. You were right. Yeah. What has happened to you? You've got some big problems, man. You know your mouth is the cutest little thing when you're angry? Steve! I'm kidding! You're not kidding! All right, I'm not kidding. What the hey Bob or re Bob is wrong with me? <laughs> I think I just figured this out. Get this. I think I'm drawn to things I know I can never have. There! I said it! Oh, Steve. <laughs> Do you mean that you're psychologically addicted to the desires and... And the emotions that have been denied to you? Exactly. And I hate myself. I hate what i become. I hate Steve! Oh. <laughs> How long have you had this problem? <laughs> what problem? Hiya, cutie. Hey, Bob. Oh. Oh. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hold me. Hold me. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh. Hey, my fingers caught the door. Oh, sorry. Hi, Meg. How you doing? Oh. 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 Yeah. That guy needs professional help. Oh, yeah. Overcoming uncontrollable urges with your host. What are you watching? Uh, another Jason. infomercial. Oh, I love infomercials. You know, so often people lead their lives in bondage to their master, the uncontrollable urge. Through our series of videotapes, we have helped countless people in the private and public sectors overcome those urges. Our guest today is a well-known comedian who understandably has chosen to remain anonymous. I love him in Father of the Bride and the Jerk. And who could forget him in Roxanne? Oh, so much for anonymity. Steve, won't you tell us about your problem and how our videos seem to help you? Well, recently I went through a very disturbing experience with some very close friends of mine whose names I will not mention. The Shorts. And listening to your tapes has given me the power to overcome my urges and be able to say to myself, hey, that's a place I just don't have to go anymore. Good for him! Well, I am absolutely shocked. Yeah! I had no idea he could do it. Wow. Maybe we should call him. Let's do. Let's should congratulate we? him. Absolutely. Let's, okay, let's, let's congratulate do it. him. Okay. Come on. Okay. You know, Casey, we've heard this time after time, right. haven't we? Yeah. From everybody that's <laughs> written in. Miss <laughs> Martin. And try to explain to us, Mr. Martin. Is this the new thing? They've come a long way. I mean, I don't recall them ever tasting this good. Then it's time you tasted Quaker rice cake. Hey, it tastes good. It's sweet. I like it. I love that caramel one. Caramel? <laughs> I'm in trouble. I could eat a large quantity of these. <laughs> Whoa, major crunch going on here. Seriously, tasty treat. You feel like you're snacking. Fat, zero grams, zero. Fat-free Quaker rice cakes. You gotta taste them. We took the scent of country wildflowers and brought it to light. Introducing Glade Plug-Ins Nightlight in a new design and fresh new scent. Plug it in, plug it in. 45 days of freshness, new country wildflowers fragrance. Soft and gentle like country wildflowers, freshness and night. Plug it in, plug it in. Plug-Ins Nightlight, fresh from Glade, SC Johnson Wax. Come to the Olive Garden and discover delicious new Italian dishes like new melanzana con mozzarella, just $8.25. Fresh eggplant, imported olives, sautéed and tossed with our zesty marinara sauce and a unique new Gemelli pasta. Then, just before serving, fresh mozzarella. Fresh baked breadsticks, garden fresh salad, and our new melanzana con mozzarella, all for just $8.25. Right now, only at the Olive Garden Italian Restaurant. It's the 20th anniversary season of Saturday Night Live with big laughs all season long. This week, catch Steve Martin with musical guest Eric Clapton. Saturday Night Live premieres this week on NBC. Sunday. Who are they? What do they want? The aliens are back, and this time they brought their friends with them. Stop! An all-new Sequest NBC Sunday. Millions of people owe their success to one person, a teacher who inspired them. To teachers everywhere, thanks. And now, the conclusion of tonight's Martin Short Show. 
<laughs> uh, Cheechel, sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm fine. This is the Steve Martin, this, the Martin Short Show. <laughs> You heard the lady. <laughs> ah! Ah! Stick around. Frazier's big move to Tuesday is next.